going on, guys? If you're here to see progress on the build, you're probably going to want to click away right now because there's really nothing going to be done today on it. Today is a Sunday afternoon. Got off of work a few hours ago. And it's pretty much at the end of the day and I'm pretty tired and yeah. So this video is mainly gonna be reviewing all the comments that were left on the last video because we have a lot. I actually started to edit a video for yesterday and it ended up being almost like 12 minutes worth of comment, reading comments and answering the comments. And then I was doing the, trying to do the the raffle stuff the info, give you guys the information and that ended up being almost like a 25 minute video so if you want info on the raffle click on my instagram or go to my instagram right here el gallo underscore built you will see a picture on my profile with the details on how to enter to win these radios there also will be a third prize winner which will be a hat in the color of your choice with the two Stickers, the Perfectly Ruined and El Gallo Bill sticker, right there. Don't forget those also, any purchase comes with the YouTube and Instagram El Gallo Bill stickers. And I'm actually currently working on getting some shirts and hoodies. So lucky winner number three is gonna get a shirt and hoodie also in your size. So might want to check that out and enter the raffle because we're not we're only selling 40 tickets so 40 tickets at $10 a ticket and that will get you an entry and to win one of these radios or the merch pack so the first drawing will be for the small din and then the second drawing will be for the double din so go to my instagram check it out and find out the details on that now going to the comments okay so first one marco gonzalez each other chingazos man is coming along i'm trying to but there's a mess in here right now. And like I said, with the amount of work that I have going on right now, it's just really, really hard to get to it, but it's getting there, it's close. Really, the only thing I have left to do right now is do that carry bearing, the four link, and then the bag mounts for the rear, and some two plates in the front, really. And that's really pretty much it, like the majority of the thing. And I think the one that's gonna take me the longest is that four link. And then we can finally start putting the cab back on the frame. And yeah, it's not gonna, by the way, it's not going to make it to that laying at the lake show because that is two weeks, two or three weeks from now. And yeah, as you can see, we're nowhere near getting anywhere uh, close to it. Uh, Sario Moreno dice, new sub, saludos viejo. Thank you, Sario, for the subscription. El compa Fernie, buen proyecto. Thank you, Fernie. I appreciate that. Richard Esquivel, this was a uh, comment that I didn't understand. I'll, uh, all he said was awesome, good microphone too. I can hear every word you say. I don't know if he's trying to make fun of me because I talk a lot or because he's really actually supporting the channel. Octavio Lara, he say, it's gonna look good when it's done. I hope so. If I can stay on track with what I'm trying to do right now, and it should be looking good, but I've always having new ideas coming into mind. So it'll probably end up changing later in the future. Cesar's boy, what size of square tubing do you use on the frame? On the frame itself, I used three by four inch square tubing, and I believe it was three sixteen inch thick. There's actually a piece laying right over there. And uh, yeah, three up, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was three by four. And then this is actually quarter inch steel, and it's four inches wide by 20. And that's what I'm using to do the reinforcements on the joints right here. So that's pretty much what I'm using. Three by four inch square tubing and three sixteenths inch thick. Uh, let's see. The one says, can't wait to see it finished up. Definitely some nice welds. It looks better on camera, trust me. Um, that welder isn't doing where it really should. It's pr pretty much not meant to be welding that thick of a steel, but um, I'm making it work. Hopefully it holds up and we don't have any cracks later on in the future any uh issues but i appreciate it and then we have let's see the cummins 1212 those 26 by 12s look so good and i'm with you on not being a big fan of the reverse slip 
yeah, that's per just pretty much my personal preference. Like I mentioned before on my last video, I don't like the full backwards lip to where the face is all the way in, in the inside. I like this where it's not, not too much, but not too little. Just right. So yeah, I like that too. Not the full reverse lip. No full reverse lip here. Street Riders 209, you inspired me to bag my truck for my channel too. Great job on the truck. You're gonna be breaking next soon. Well, I appreciate it. Let's click on his profile. If you guys wanna go check out his uh his YouTube channel, y'all might wanna go subscribe to him. He's got he's got more subscribers than me. He's got six point eight two thousand uh like six thousand eight hundred and twenty. If I'm reading that right. So yeah, go check him out. Or was it? Oh, here we go. So yeah, go check him out. Street Riders 209. And then we got Anthony Auto Collision Si Paga Bien a la Verga. Yeah, it actually it it pays pretty good. If you find a uh, if you find a good shop that's actually gonna supply you with work and it's constantly busy all year round, you can make some pretty good money depending on your level of experience. You can make anywhere from like I would say starting off, you could start off making somewhere around like I don't know, sixty thousand a year, and then on the high side, I've seen, I've heard some senior techs that work with us that's made easily one hundred and thirty, one hundred and forty thousand a year. Not quite there yet, but I'm working towards it. Uh, Nathami DeVos, great build, love the work, love the work from Cape Town, South Africa. South Africa. There's really like, are you guys actually throw? I wonder if that's really from South Africa. But if you're watching from South Africa, I'm badass. I appreciate it. That's awesome. Silos G, inspired to start uh, my C10 project. Saludos del RGV, brother. Keep up the good work. Thank you. And I sal I'll send saludos out to the RGV. GML Guerito 77. I wish you would upload more often, bro. You make good videos. Been here since you fixed the cluster with the LEDs. Dropping a like all the way from Odessa, Texas. If I could sell merch, if y'all could buy merch, and if I could start making some money off of these videos, I have to have quite a couple thousand, hundred thousand million subscribers in order to actually start making money off of YouTube. I'm honestly right now, this is just doing it for fun. But if I could start making money off of it, I will start taking less work at work and I will start doing more stuff like this because I find this pretty fun. I like I like it because it brings out a bunch of creativity and it just it's really surprising what you can come up with when just uh cutting a few pieces of metal and welding them back together. So if, if I can make some money off of YouTube and selling my merchandise, I wouldn't mind taking this as a full time job and bringing you guys more videos but for now but at the moment i have a full-time job and a family to take care of so that's always going to come first but until then we'll just be making videos every two or three weeks like the rate i've been doing uh mike revise damn it wells look good stacking them dimes definitely will be ordering my hat and, and sticker brother built hashtag built not bought hashtag that's what she said and hashtag el gallo built i think i already sent your hat by the time you see this video so I appreciate your support, my friend, from Mike Rivas. El Jefe 409, good work, Analito, keep up the good work. Saludos, this on Oxard, California, 805. All the way out in California, that California love. Fernando Zamora, keep up the good work, bro, it's looking good. Thank you, sir. Juan Big Block 805, saludos desde Cali 805, much respect. So El Jefe 805 and Juan Big Block 805, all the way out from California, the 805. Ruben Lopez, keep up the good, keep keep the good work coming in. Saludos at Plant City, Florida. Badass man, all the way out in Plant City, Florida. Tumbado zone. Ahí va quedando la Silverado. Yeah, ahí va quedando slowly but surely, but ahí va quedando. Luis Sanchez, sick build, can't wait to see it done. Saludos de Nebraska, all the way up in Nebraska. Luis Sanchez. Tim A, liked and commented to get the channel up. Thank you. I appreciate that. Everything, every every like and every comment counts. It's gonna grow, help grow the channel. Uh, Clone Renok did those muscle emojis. 
Uh, David Gonzalez, ¿qué pasó con los otros rines, los 22s? Those 22s, those replicas I sold when I started tearing down the truck back in November of last year. Those rims are long gone and it actually helped pay for the um, the air management system. So that was the first, actually the first thing that I got when I sold those rims. Justin Pilar, keep it up, bro. Looking sick, or slick, sorry. I appreciate that, Justin. Adrian Gonzalez, what tank and compressors are you going with? The original tank was a steel tank. And then the original kit I ordered came with Air Max compressors. However, I will not be running that anymore. One, I've heard bad uh, things about these steel tanks that because they get moisture in them, they'll end up rusting out. And Air Max is an okay compressor, but it's probably gonna give out in the later future. However, I did order some stuff from Switch Suspensions out in Arizona. I ordered some Vire compressors. I don't remember if I got them chrome or black. More than likely I got them black. And I also have somewhere down in here, a aluminum air tank. And I believe it's the same size as this. And I want to say it's either three or five gallons. I don't remember. But yeah, for, um, for originally I was going to use a steel tank and Air Max compressors, but now I'm going with an aluminum tank and Vire air. However, I am going to get some use out of those Air Max and run those as my primaries and then use those wires as my backup in case these go out. So I have two Air Max and two wires. So that's what I'm gonna be using. Uh, Maria Hernandez, saludos bro de Herber Medrano. So it's Herber Medrano that's sending these comments. I guess he's using her, uh, or she made the YouTube profile, but he's from the 785 de Topeka, Kansas. Thank you, Herber. Rosalio Alvarado, saludos de Chicago. Está quedando chingona la troca, la troquita. Muchas gracias, Rosalio. Oswaldo Juarez, chingona la ramfla. I can't believe I just said that. But thank you, Oswaldo. I appreciate it. And then finally we have the Lord JC Cass. Them dimes is fire. Truck is going to look sick. I appreciate that. Like, like I said, those, those welds aren't that good, but... They probably look good, better than they, uh, than they're gonna hold up. And then I've had some comments on some of the other videos that I've had, so I'm gonna go through them if my thing will actually load. And then, okay, so we have Beto scrapes on the first video that I did of the teardown. Good progress for vid number one, and I appreciate that, Beto. I did tear it. It's easy to tear stuff apart, but it's a pain in the ass to get it all back together. But yeah, we did tear down, a, or I did tear down a bunch of stuff on that truck in the first, uh, the first video. And then for Fabricio's, when we lifted his truck from the really low drop to the stock height, he said, is that by Pasadena, Houston? Yeah, we're actually in the spring area where we work. And then I actually live in Tomball. So yeah, we're here in the, in the Houston area. And then we have, come on. El Chingon underscore 92. What do you do for a living? I do collision repair. I'm a collision tech. I've been doing collision repair for, I want to say, since 2009. So in 2000, I graduated in 2008. In 2009, I went to, I want to say, it was like north of Charlotte, North Carolina. I don't remember the town, but I went to UTI up there to study, to study um, mechanics specifically for Nissan, which I don't know why the hell I chose Nissan, but it ended up not working out because of the, of the economy. Uh, me and two other guys that we moved up there with, we were all going to the same school. Um, it was hard for us to find a job and we ended up having to move back home. And I ended up going to a community college local to me. And I don't know why I didn't take their mechanics class. And I ended up taking collision instead. And that stuck. One of my classmates actually got me a job at the first place that I worked at. And we did a bunch of hack jobs there. And I kind of left for that reason. That's because I knew better, but that was the only job that I had and I really wanted to continue in it. And then that's when I made the move and I decided to take, uh, come to UTI here in Houston to do the collision repair. However, I do not recommend going to UTI and spending 25 to $30,000, however much it is now, to study in this field. The best way to get into this field debt-free is by actually going to a shop 
and starting as a, even as a car wash or a, a maintenance guy, work your way into the shop. As soon as you're working in there and whatever it is, you already have your foot in the door. Once you're in there, start looking for a guy that needs, needs a helper. Even if you work for free, you're gonna have to end up working for free in the beginning, just to show them that you're motivated to work and you can start learning. Once you learn all this stuff, then you can start practicing like watching him, watching him or others, how they work. And that's how you learn this industry. It's really not that hard. It's just the processes that you have to remember to do when repairing a car properly. That's the main thing is how to repair properly and not doing any sort of hack job. That's the problem is that a lot of shops are hacks or they have techs that are hacks and it just gives us a bad name. So depending on where you work, you can make a pretty good amount of living. Like I said before, anywhere from like 60,000 and I've heard techs make up to 130, 140,000. But yeah, collision tech is what I do for a living. And I'm fortunate enough to be working at a shop that supplies work year round and I work with a good team. So yeah, collision repair pays really good and it's a good career because there's always gonna be cars being wrecked and there's never gonna be any machine that's gonna take your job. Uh, let's see, then we got the last one that I can see on this notifications, Lean Mean Meme Machine. Can I zoom that in? Yeah, there you go. Lean Mean Meme Machine. And he commented on, ah oh, crap, I selected that. Oh, here we go. He commented on Manny's drop video that we did for him when we did the baby drop on his Silverado 2.4 drop. And he says, I'm about to install the front drop hangers on my truck too. How difficult was it to remove the rivets? I don't have any air tools. If you don't have any air tools, you're gonna have a really fun time, my friend, because those rivets are hard to get off. Even if you took like an electric grinder and were able to get in there to cut the X into the rivet head, there is a really small amount of room to get in there with a chisel and hammer to even get to those rivets to cut the head off and to punch it out. So I think the only way you would actually be able to do it is by taking the bed completely off. That would give you all the access in the world that you'll ever need. And then again, what we did is we had to, if you do the front hanger, you're gonna have to remove the fuel tank in order to put those front bolts in for the driver's side. So yeah, it's not that easy, especially if you don't have air tools. So if you're gonna take that on, I wish you the best of luck, but I highly recommend that you go to a friend that has an air compressor because that's gonna make your life a whole lot easier. And that's all the comments we have for today. And this video is probably coming up on 15 to 20 minutes. So that's gonna be it. Hopefully by the time I get around to making another video, I would have done something on the truck and we'll see the comments on the next video. Hopefully it's not too much because then I won't be able to read every single one of them. Otherwise the whole episode is gonna be for just comments. What I might do is just like do a Wednesday video of just the comments. That's what I'll probably do is do a Wednesday, Wednesday video of just the comments that are left on the last video because that alone is gonna take quite a while. So make sure you go to my channel, subscribe. We're at 4,430 subscribers. We're almost to that 5,000 mark. I was actually saying on my uh, Instagram that I want to get to 5,000 by the end of the year. And it's been growing uh, for the last few days really, really quick. So I have no doubt that we're going to reach 5,000 by the end of the year. So make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll read it on the next video. Make sure you like, subscribe, share the videos, and don't forget to enter the raffle to win these two radios or the third prize, which will be a merch pack. Go to my Instagram, elgallo underscore bill, and you'll see a picture with these two radios in it, and it'll be circled in red. And if you swipe, you'll see all the details that you need to get the info and enter into these raffles. There's only 40 tickets gonna be sold, so once those 40 tickets are gone, you cannot enter anymore. And there will be bigger and better prizes. So the money that I gained from these, I'm gonna be putting into a different uh, raffle for either next month or however long it takes to sell the raffle tickets ideas to give you ideas of what we might be raffling so y'all guys can enter into these raffles i have thought about doing a stereo like buying like this kicker shallow speaker box doing like one of those uh doing like one of those that go under the seats or behind the seats with a amplifier and wiring kit so that might be a prize. The next prize could be a detail kit. I'm also thinking of probably doing like an exhaust. If I end up doing something a little bit more cheaper, like a muffler, 
I'll probably end up raffling off like four mufflers or five mufflers, depending on how cheap they are and how much money we can raise. And I also plan to do like a drop kit or I could end up doing eventually some wheels, maybe some intros if you guys actually buy the tickets. So make sure you guys enter and we'll see how big these raffles can get. It might end up being the truck. You never know. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.